Uh, we just want to take a few moments and share a number of things that's on our heart. Uh, if you were with us yesterday uh, in our service, uh, uh, in, our, in the sermon I shared and many things afterward, some things that pertain to our church, uh, you are aware of what we're talking about. If you were not able to be with us yesterday, we really want to encourage you to go on our website and uh, take a few moments and listen to uh, it's about a 30-minute sermon and also the things that we are wanting to share with you right now. Just take a few moments to kind of summarize a little bit of what we talked about yesterday. Uh, you know, both Chip and I, uh, we love our church very, very much and the vision of our church and believe that God has got us on an exciting path as we move ahead. One of the things that have been really concerning us for the probably for a number of years and specifically for the last six months is just the financial stability of our church. And, uh, and we've come to decisions uh, after a great amount of prayer, mm -hmm. seeking the Lord that we've got to be proactive in the, the things of the finances of our church. And in doing that is, uh, is changing our budget to be more reflective of what is coming into our church. And with that, some important and sacrificial decisions have been made. One, for Cindy and I, we have decided to take a pretty significant salary cut. We feel like it's the right thing to do and where we are as a church. And uh, we believe that we have, we have the peace and the mind of the Lord in this. And uh, Chip also uh, has some things he'd like to share with you. Yes, I have. Um, I just first want to say that it's been a privilege and an honor. I've been serving at Harvest for 12 years, mm -hmm. um, and actually going on 13. And it, it has been a joy for me. It is something that I have I, I have loved. I've, I've had discovery about just certain gifts that I didn't know were lying inside of me, and I, and and God has really used my time here. But um, specifically, as we came into May. Um, the Lord began to speak to my heart, and I'll share three things that He spoke to me, but uh, ultimately it led to a decision that I have decided uh, to step down um, from my position at Harvest and Old Church as a staff pastor, mm -hmm. as lead pastor. Um, and, and there are three reasons why. One, before I even had a clue that I was going to end up crossing this uh, bridge, um, the Lord, I had an encounter with the Lord where He came to me and He, and he declared to me His heart for me to bless me exceedingly. Um, it was, I didn't have a context for it, but as things began to unfold, I understood why He was telling me ahead of time. Um, number two, he, began, he came to me and started speaking to me about Jesus um, and Jesus' life of sacrifice and how Jesus modeled sacrifice. And I believe, uh, I felt like the Lord was inviting me to partner with Him as my Father um, to, to bring mm -hmm. to sacrifice. And it was, it was very clear about I have opportunity to sacrifice for my wife, to lay mm -hmm. down my life for her as Christ laid down His life for the church. Um, for, for friends, no greater man, no greater love has a man than this that He laid down His life for His friends. Um, and then just in general, my love for the Lord and for His, for his church. Mm -hmm. And so... I said yes to that wholeheartedly. I was like, yes, because I knew that my father is a good father and that when, when Jesus did what he did, he didn't do it for nothing. He did it for a joy set before him and with an anticipation and a faith of exponential increase. And, and that is my heart in this. Um, additionally, um, as I was making this decision, the Lord came to me and he says, did you, do you believe that your destiny is bigger than the box you've been living in? And it sort of stopped me for a second, mm -hmm. and my answer was, yes, I believe my destiny mm -hmm. is bigger than the box that I've been living in. And his simple response was, then it's time to step out of the box. And I really believe that word translates for us corporately. Um, our, the box that we've been living in, I've been saying for months and months, we are bigger than we think we are. Mm -hmm. But in order to step into that, we've got to stop living the way we've been living, yeah. and we've got to choose to move out of the box mm -hmm. we've been living in. And I think this is all a part of it. Yeah. So at the end of the day, for um, my family and for our church family, I am saying I am resigning as lead pastor and I will continue to serve as an elder. I will continue to worship with you in, for the foreseeable future, um, but that I'm moving into a, um, a vocational role in the marketplace and um, will continue to believe and, and step forward in the destiny that God has for us together. Yeah. 
Ambassador Doug? Yeah. You know, I just, one, I just want to uh, let everyone know how much I love this man, love his family, his wife, uh, what he has meant to us at Harvest, and what he's going to continue to mean to us at Harvest. I know this decision uh, has not been easy. It hasn't been easy for any of us. The decisions that Cindy and I have made and, and what God is telling us to sacrifice in. But we believe that we really have the mind of the Lord in this and we have the grace of God in this also. Um, I just repre- I appreciate uh, the character within this man, the love that he has for God, the love that he has for a church. And uh, so as we walk together in this, we really encourage and we invite your prayers as we continue to walk this through. Uh, and, and we really encourage you uh, in just the support of the vision of this church because nothing has changed with the vision of this church. You know, Chip uh, transitions into a different role. Uh, you know, I'll be uh, reassuming uh, in a full capacity as the lead senior pastor here of Harvest Renewal Church. Um, I know Cindy and I also shared back in April, I believe May, uh, that you know, the Lord has opened some doors for us to travel. And you know, I've always traveled as senior pastor here at Harvest uh, and the entire 13 years has been a part of that. And we'll continue to do that to a certain extent. Uh, we are, are uh, wanting to make sure that our travel is not detrimental at all to the, the future and the growth of our church, and, uh, and we don't believe it will be. And so um, a couple of things real quick and concerning uh, this change. One of some of the responsibilities that Chip has been assuming as, as pastor here, uh, we, are, we are assuming those responsibilities myself, our pastoral team, elder team, to make sure that that the responsibilities are continue to be fulfilled, uh, that, that nothing drops through the cracks, I say. And uh, so uh, we're excited about that. Also, it's just a decision from the eldership in, in, in working diligently in the governance of our finances, the governance of our budget, to ensure that we live within our budget, you know, and that we operate in that way. And as we continue, the Lord continues to bless us, then we continue to operate within the the the, uh, the, the boundaries of our budget, mm-hmm. okay? And so uh, then also just uh, uh, really committed as, as a team, as an elder team, to, uh, to, to support one another, to walk this through together. You know, as leadership, eldership here, we are very committed to just the future of our church, very committed to the financial stability of our church. And we have been for some time now to make a decision steps in order to to uh, to have a sound budget. And we and yesterday I shared my sermon uh, a, a number of uh, people that are stepping into some leadership roles, uh, specific, specifically in the financial area. So I encourage you to go back and listen to that on our website, and so that you'll be aware of who those people are. Okay, and so you know Chip and I we just want to just remind you how much we care for you, yeah. we love you, and uh, we, we would love to meet with you. If you have questions, you would like to try to meet with us, both Chip and I are available. Yes. <laughs> we love you, we bless you, we're so yeah. thankful for you. Um, this is a time for us to rally together yeah. um, and to walk out change, um, because it's, it's, change is, in, is meant to bring forth blessings. I believe. Yeah, me too. Um, and so it's time for us to make changes so that we can position ourselves for the blessing of the Lord. Amen. Thank you so much. Come up here. Come up high. Won't you sing his praise?